Welcome to Sessions Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Sessions Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to cover online booking. To turn on online booking, you'll go to Account Settings Portal, and under Features, you'll see the check box for online booking. Once you've checked it, you'll have this link to manage your availability. And we can set up our availability from this link. And I'm going to click that. And you can see it's going to start walking us through a wizard. I want to show you, before we get into this, another way to get to your availability. And that's also from the calendar. There's a Manage Availability link here as well. So we're going to click the Get Started link. And the first thing we're going to do is make a default schedule. You can see 9 to 5 is what is populated when you first arrive. Let's say you take an hour lunch on Tuesdays, so we can click this trash can to delete that time. And then we can add a new time, which is also going to be defaulted from 9 to 5. So we didn't really need to delete that one, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you can delete it. And so we're going to set this one from 9 to 12, and then we're going to take an hour for lunch. And so we do want to make another one. And this is pretty smart. So it, it recognizes you probably are setting up lunch. And so it defaults this next time to one and also assumes that maybe you're done at five. So it does one to five, but you can change this as needed. And now since that took a little bit of work, instead of doing this for every single one, we can click this copy icon and we can just say like hey what i have set for tuesday make that my schedule every weekday and apply that and so now we have nine to five is our schedule every day with an hour for lunch and so what that means is is that clients who are scheduling sessions they won't be able to request sessions during your lunch hour now we're going to click continue. So the next thing we're going to do is set up what services we want clients to be able to book through the portal. For now, we're just going to click consultation. Maybe we want this to be in 15 minute increments and we don't want this for existing clients because we're already working with them, but we probably do want it for new clients. We're going to do a diagnostic evaluation and we can make this a user friendly label. So this is what we're going to type here is what clients will see if they're booking through the portal. So we might just say intake session. And then let's also do 90837s and we'll let people book 90837s. And same thing here, we can just say individual session. And we're going to make it 60 minutes. And we're also only going to make it available for existing clients. We're going to click continue. And now we're going to say, I have two locations set up for my account. I have a telehealth location and in-person location. Which locations do I want this schedule to apply to? For now, we're just going to click both locations and we can, again, we can give this a friendly display name. And this is the display name is what clients are going to see in the online, in the client portal when they're booking. And same with this. So Maybe instead of in person, maybe I just want to give this the, the street name. So I'll just say this is my 
to three street. And I'll click continue. And then finally, we're going to set up some ad final additional settings. We're going to give the schedule a name. And the importance of that is that we can actually make multiple schedules. And I'm going to get into how we might use multiple schedules. So for now, we're just going to call this our default schedule. Let's say if clients are on the client portal, don't let them schedule sooner than one day out. They can schedule 90 days out into the future. Maybe that's too far for me. Maybe I only want people to be able to schedule a month out into the future. If you don't want to limit it, you can just say, hey, if clients want to book a, a session five years out, they can, and you would click that. And then do you want to have a gap between sessions? So for your 60 minute appointments, if you want 15 minutes in between, you can say limit that. Or if you just want clients to be able to schedule every hour on the hour or every half hour, whatever um, you've scheduled your services to be, you can uncheck this and they'll just be able to schedule back to back. The time zone, this is what time zone your schedule is set to. If clients are using the client portal in a different time zone, it'll automatically adjust their calendar based upon what time zone you have set here. So if your clients are in Eastern time, they'll see your schedule an hour ahead based upon what schedule you have set up for your Chicago time zone. So now we're seeing our basic default schedule. We can see any, our services if we want to change that. These are the ones that we set up. We can see the locations. These are the ones that we set up. And if we need to make any changes, we can click those. The settings we can change through using the three dot menu. Let's say we're going on vacation soon. We can add a date override. So let's say we're going on vacation next Friday. We can click that and we can just delete our availability and then we won't be available on January 20th in this case. We can make as many of these as we need to. If we want to see what our calendar looks like, we can click the calendar view and we can see this is what our availability is looking like. And you can see that day that we're on vacation, we're going to be unavailable. So I mentioned being able to make multiple schedules. Let's make another schedule and we're going to walk through an example of how this might be handy. Let's pretend we only want to do telehealth on Mondays and we're going to be in the office every other day. The first thing that we're going to do is make our default schedule for in-person. So we're going to get rid of telehealth. We're going to save it. And then we're going to get rid of our availability on Monday. So now the way this is set up, we have our default schedule is to offer our three services Tuesday through Friday, just in person. And now we're going to make a new schedule. And it's just going to be for Mondays. And we'll just set it nine to five. And maybe we only want to do consultations when we're doing telehealth. Maybe we just want to call this a telehealth consultation. So it's 15 minutes. And again, just for new clients. And maybe we don't do intake sessions using telehealth, but maybe we do still do individual psychotherapy. And we're going to set this to 60 minutes. Now we're going to continue. And now this schedule is only going to be 
for our telehealth location. And then we can call this one telehealth, keep all of our other settings, complete setup. So now we have two schedules. We have our default schedule. Let's change it to say in person so that it's clear what that means. And we're going to save it. So now we have an in-person schedule and a telehealth schedule. We can see in person. We're going to make our in-person location available Tuesday through Friday. And we're going to offer our consultation. And actually, we're not going to do consultations in person. We're only going to do that with telehealth. So we're going to get rid of that. So in person, we're going to do intake sessions and individual therapy. And we're going to do that Tuesday through Friday with an hour for lunch. And then telehealth, we're only going to do consultations and individual teletherapy and no intakes. And we're just going to do that on Mondays, 9 to 5. And we're not going to take a, a lunch break because we're doing telehealth and whatever time we we don't have a session we'll just take a break then and we'll try to book our whole day up if we can since we're at home this is just an example of how you can use multiple schedules to really tailor your booking to suit your needs there's lots of ways to create multiple schedules and you can be as creative as you can in creating multiple schedules so that you provide services at the times and dates that you would like and also offer up the locations the times and dates that you're going to be there and so now when we are looking at calendar view we can just see our telehealth schedule and if we switch over to in-person now we can see our in-person schedule and as many schedules as we make, we can easily view and, and see what our availability is. And then when clients are on the client portal, if they schedule an appointment, they're only going to be able to schedule for the services and locations that you've defined. We've covered a lot of ground here. And if you have any questions, we also have a support article and you can look at that at support.sessionshealth.com. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at sessionshealth.com.